are watching College Football Daily. I am your host, Jordan Giorgio, alongside our college football analysts here at Chat Sports, James Yoder and Tom Downey. Guys, let's go ahead and take it to the Big 12 now. Here's a quick look at those players who just missed the top 10. We got Daniel Wise, Caleb K Kelly, Ross Blacklock, Jalen Rager, and Colin Johnson. Kansas does, does have a good player still left on the defensive yeah. side of the ball, and it's Daniel Wise. And, you know, that's kind of all Kansas has going for And that's, so. that's it. <laughs> all right, guys. No let's, other players. Let's take just it kidding, now one. <laughs> to number 10. We got Denzel Mims, wide receiver for Baylor. Oh, there's that Baylor player. And, mm -hmm. look, he had a great year. He was highly productive in this Big 12 defensive system that just – has bad corners is kind of what I, I think it's at. Like teams just are not good at stopping the passing game for whatever reason in, in, in the Big 12. I'm a big fan of Denzel Mims. He's a very talented player. One of the few guys that Baylor has managed to keep. All right, next up we got Marquise Brown, wide receiver for Oklahoma. How do you think he's going to do, though, without along, being alongside Baker well, Mayfield? I mean, so you, it's tough for me to put him any higher. Mm -hmm. I know he's got some nice stats coming back, 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns, and had a nice honorable mention season in 2017. The Big 12 doesn't have as much, nearly as much talent as some of these other conferences, but mm -hmm. without Baker Mayfield coming back, without that, uh, that arm that he possesses, mm -hmm. I couldn't put Brown any higher. I couldn't give him my vote. This is a good position for him. Mm -hmm. If they get that offense going, though, he could, he could definitely get up there. He definitely has the talent. Okay, coming in at number eight, you guys, we've got Ben Banagoo, um, defensive end for TCU. Well, TCU is always have great defensive players. He was the newcomer of the year in 2017, really kind of came out of the gate uh, with a great year. Nice size in him, 6'4", tall guy, defensive end coming off the end. 16 and a half tackles for loss, mm -hmm. huge numbers for him, big opportunity. TCU is going to have a nice team next year. They really are. They are. And moving on, we got at number seven, Kyler Murray, quarterback for Oklahoma, and some big shoes to fill. And he's the unknown here, right? We're yeah. basically projecting this mm -hmm. on his recruiting accolades. When we've heard from, like, you know, people, uh, the rumor mill, he's very small. He's got a little bit of time, Tom. Uh, but this is more about, like, hey, Every year, Oklahoma's quarterbacks, first or second team, all Big 12, basically for the last 20 years. So, mm -hmm. Kyler Murray, he gets the starting knob, which seems like he's going to. He'll be in there, and I think you're going to expect a lot of big numbers out of him, but different quarterback than they've had. It's sure. a very different quarterback. I think you're going to see a lot more running with Kyler Murray. He's not the biggest guy. He's listed at 5'10", 182. That's very, very small mm -hmm. for a quarterback, really any level. I think when it comes to Kyler Murray, he, use his legs. Let him just run all the teams like he did when he had the start against West Virginia. One big run to set up the entire drive. Yep. So he is very much boom or bust. Sure. Keeping it rolling here, guys, at number six, we've got Dalton Reisner, offensive lineman for Kansas State. Well, wins the name uh, award for, for, the, for the Big 12. Great name. I like that yeah. Dalton Reisner. Uh, but, you know, uh, first team all Big 12 in 2017. I like that team captain for a third straight year. That means he's going to get it for, what, four straight years in 2019? He's still around. So uh, big time player, Tom. Uh, offensive lineman, so he's not getting all the accolades of some of these other ones, but he is probably the best offensive lineman in the Big 12. I think there's, with, with guys like Orlando Brown gone, he definitely is, and you'll see him on Sundays too. Getting into our top five now, you guys, of top Big 12 players of 2018. We got David Montgomery running back for Iowa State. Overlooked because it is Iowa State, but mm -hmm. the dude is a stud. He is a very, very talented player. He kind of at times was the Iowa State offense, even though they had guys like Allen. Lazard receiver is now in the NFL. Montgomery, I think a very common theme for the Big 12 next year, the running backs are going to be mm -hmm. much more important. Is than the, the running back in the Big 12. He has tree trunk legs, 5'11", 220 though. He is tough to take down. A lot of yards are going to be coming from those legs in 2018 on the ground. If they get him involved in the passing game, you could see uh, potentially uh, a bigger, more national year than he had in 2017. Mm -hmm. A big part of those two upsets they had uh, over TCU and Oklahoma, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Moving on at number four, you guys, we got Will Greer, quarterback for West Virginia. Tom, is this another quarterback who needs to do more, as you said? I think with season? Greer, it's A, staying healthy. Like, mm -hmm. he had a great year for West Virginia. I think the key for him is in the big games to cut down on some of those turnovers. That was the issue with Greer with 12 interceptions. Mm -hmm. Never got West Virginia over that next step that these teams they were supposed to. Now the teams that, that, that they were just better viewed and better overall talent. Think about the Florida playing. Gators, how different they are. If Gear, Gear didn't get out of that off the yeah. field issues, who'd stayed at Florida, all the quarterback issues they've had for the past three or four seasons, Gear could have solved some of them in 2017, 2016, and of course coming up in 2018. But uh, big year, he's got his main receiver coming back as well. well. Happy to see about those guys can do another year after some All-American accolades in 2017. Very right. talented player. All right, coming in at number three on our list, you guys, Rodney Anderson, running back for Oklahoma. Anderson will be a huge threat this year in the backfield. I, I think in the end, he is going to take on a, a bigger load for mm -hmm. Oklahoma because Baker Mayfield's gone. They're not going to throw it as much. You'll see more work for Rodney Anderson in what overall I think is a pretty talented Oklahoma backfield. The big question is, how does he fare without Baker Mayfield? 
teams are going to key a little bit more on Rodney Anderson this year compared to last year when it was, hey, let's stop Baker. If Rodney kills us, it is what it is. Yeah, I expect a big year out of him. Great stats. I think the Baker Mayfield factor time is what to watch out for. All right, coming in at number two, you guys, David Sills, wide receiver for West Virginia, second team All-American in 2008. He's been famous since he was in sixth grade when he got those scholarship offers to USC and I think ultimately Washington. Didn't work out for him a quarterback, but turned into one of the better wide receivers in the country. Had to go to preps or to, to you know, kind of juco for a year in California just to make sure he wasn't a quarterback. Returned to West Virginia got in that starting wide receiver position and what a year for him. The nearly three to one catch to TD ratio can't be sustained, right? Uh, like well, all he did was score. It was unbelievable. Yeah, well, great, great year from huge size. Taking a quarterback with athleticism, put him in a wide receiver. He knows the position and big stats for him. I would think you'll see more receptions, more yards, maybe less TDs. All right, and landing our number one spot in the top Big 12 player for 2018 is Justice Hill running back for Oklahoma State. Look, I think because of the Mason Rudolph, James Washington factor, we kind of overlook Justice Hill. He's incredible. Like, in the Oklahoma State pass-first offense, to put up those numbers is wildly impressive. And now with Rudolph and Washington gone, Justice Hill becomes the focal point of that Oklahoma State team. And they're keeping their offensive coordinator, a guy I thought was going to move on after all the high-profile uh, you know, potential teams that O coordinator positions are open. So some continuity there. Justice Hill, huge year coming up for him. Expect him to get 18 yards, 20 touchdowns in 2018. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's go ahead and recap the top Big 12 players for 2018. At number 10, we got Denzel Mims, Marquise Brown, Ben Banigou, T Kyler Murray, Dolan Reisner at number six. And into our top five, we got David Montgomery, Will Greer, Rodney Anderson, David Sills, and Justice Hill. Here's just a quick recap of all those players that just missed our top ten. 